My name is Marcus. I have over 21 years experience teaching English as a second language. My primary focus is with adult students in conversational English, business English, and industry specific English. I tend to begin my lessons with an interview so I can determine what the purpose of learning English is for and develop a curriculum, a custom curriculum that is specific to the needs of the students. My feelings on that subject are that if the student can actually utilize what they learn more frequently, they'll be more likely to continue their studies. So, in the case of conversational English, finding out the purpose, what they hope to accomplish, and trying to guide them through learning the grammar and the structure, through English that they can actually use on a daily basis or on a regular basis at least. In terms of business English, I focus primarily on um, work-related conversational pieces, things that you're going to need to communicate and exchange ideas at work. Um, some of the industries, some of the larger industries, some of the, some of the some of the small businesses even have industry-specific language. Um, when I was teaching for Hispanic Social Services of Northern Nevada, one of, the, one of the most common jobs was in housekeeping for both males and females um, in different capacities generally, but there was language that was specific and there were conversations that were um, unique to that to that realm and that would be frequently discussed at work and as such we developed a curriculum that was focused on the, the likely conversations at work and how to understand the, the pertinent and relevant concepts and ideas surrounding that work. I also specialize in teaching local vernacular and colloquialisms. Um, the reason for that is if somebody moves into an area, say New York, which is a major financial center, or Boston, which is another major financial center, um, and with the Chinese influx, with the, with the, with the vast number of foreign in entities that are investing in the U.S., um, not all of them are going into the Midwest, not all of them are going into the West Coast, where the, the, generic, unaccented English is going to be prevalent. Many of them will move into areas where it is heavily accented, and there are numerous local colloquialisms. As such, people will need to be prepared for um, not only understanding, but being able to communicate and exchange ideas with people who do speak heavily accented English. In South Boston, for example, you've got somebody driving a car, or you might have somebody explain that they work as a god, um, which would be a guard there. Um, in South Boston particularly, you have a tendency among the common people that you're going to encounter in the street, in your daily business, in your daily affairs. Um, they may reverse some of the grammatical structure in sentencing. So instead of saying, so do I, somebody might say, so don't I. Or in the case of loaning or borrowing something, um, borrow me something instead of loan me something. Um, in the Deep South, you're going to have people washing their tars. They check the all. Um, the, the additional R in a lot of the, the words is going to be off offsetting people who are not native English speakers, even some people who are native English speakers will often have a difficult time understanding the colloquialisms. Um, local vernacular is also important, not to the same degree, but it can be touched upon. In some places you might go in and order a pop and they're going to look at you really strangely, but in some places that merely means that you would like a soda. So, again, it's specific to the needs of the student and the client, and I generally begin my courses with an interview to determine um, which route to take, and then 
the curriculum being custom made can constantly be adjusted to meet the needs of the students. So I hope to hear from you soon and I hope I can be of assistance. I hope I may be of assistance and we'll talk to you soon. The relevant information is in the, in the communication below, in the link in the description below. So please check it out and let's get together. Thank you. Motorcycle going by just for good passing. Since some people have asked me about the beard, I'm throwing it in this edit at the end. Um, what it is, I do a lot of volunteer work, I do a lot of humanitarian work, and the beard looks like this now. By the end of November, the first part of December, it'll be a little bit longer, and then at the end of December, it'll, well, in early December, it'll, it'll morph into Santa Claus, trimmed and brushed up and painted white, because people here really do tend to love their blue-eyed Santa Claus, so that's the purpose behind the beard, just in case, you know, I've had some people comment about it, so I figured I'd throw this in just for good measure. Again, I hope to talk to you soon, and thank you for your time. Bye.